What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Barefoot Garage and tonight we're under the 914 and I've got a little secret to show you guys. This has been my clutch cable setup for approximately four years now and tonight we're gonna fix it. All right, so I don't know that I've ever talked about this or shown this or honestly even in my many of my local 914 buddies know this, but my clutch cable has been barely there for four years. So I bought this car in 2017. I was putting together pretty tight budget-wise. And what I found once I started digging into it and kind of finding why it was off the road and a number of things, I found that the clutch cable too had broken out of the tunnel. It had broken at the firewall and all the little brackets had broken. So I pulled it back, I made a bracket that I'll show you guys at the back, and I, t I drilled or cut a couple holes and made some welds inside the tunnel. And in doing that, I burned my, <laughs> welded my accelerator cable, so I had to replace that. So I kind of learned some things there, but the cable itself and all the hardware and everything is as was when I got the car. And that means it's been on there since approximately 1976. And it's time to feel a little bit more confident about that. So I have a new clutch cable. Ooh, new cable and the new special seven millimeter nuts. And I even bought the rubber grommet that goes at the transmission end. So let's take a look at what the setup looks like now. Don't judge, but uh, it's been working and I just wanna make sure that it continues to work and doesn't leave me stranded. All right, welcome to 914 on a budget. So when I put this back together, there was a socket in there. There always has been. And I found a never could find the nut that fit. Obviously now I realize it's a seven millimeter nut. The little clevis was gone. There was like a washer and then this socket and then like three different nuts and then nothing. So I have been kind of getting this along and trying to keep it going. I mean, I can do that nut by hand. That's why it's got a really tight zip tie on there. The cable itself looks okay. I don't think my routing is right because it does make a whoop-de-doo underneath here and uh, keeps that thing uh, a little bit bent. I can't I remember which one's speedometer and which one's not, but it doesn't really flow the way I want it to. So up at the firewall, I mentioned that I had to make a repair bracket and I did repair this when I first got the car. And you can see just there, I basically tech screwed that piece of eighth inch plate to the firewall, pulled the tube back as far as I could and welded it. Now I realize now I probably needed about a half inch more of tube sticking out. Ignore the wiring and all the other things. That's my oil temperature uh, sensor wire uh, that's going up to the Haltech or to my gauge. So this is really strong. I have no problem with this, but what I don't want to do is have a problem with that cable on the inside or a problem with that cable on the other side where I know it's kind of already iffy to begin with. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out and uh, get it out from the backside and we'll take a look at the cable underneath the pedal box. This should be a simple install, something that is realistically good insurance for anybody's 914 and something that everybody probably needs to do because I would rather do it here on the garage and not carry a spare than carry a spare and have to do it somewhere on the side of the road and underground and things like that. So let's take a look at the back and get it taken off and then we'll go get it from off from the inside. All right, so first step to get this clutch cable out is, sorry, I've got to cut like 30 zip ties. I tend to zip tie everything before it's done, so then it gets another zip tie and another zip tie and another zip tie. But at least I clip all the ends. I'm not a savage. So we're going to get all these zip ties cut, and then we can see what the clutch cable actually is doing, including the zip tie. That is currently my safety on that nut. I mentioned that that nut is pretty much hand tight. It is a nylock nut. I don't even know if it's M7, but I can kind of do it by hand, which means the nylocky part is trashed. So I've got a few more zip ties up here that I'm gonna do without, hopefully without cutting my speedometer cable, which does work. And then we're gonna get this thing freed up. Like I mentioned, I've got that wire for my um, oil temperature gauge. And if I go right here and just kind of pull a little bit of slack, I can just undo this by hand. It's kind of like a quick change clutch cable. So I'm going to just kind of pull some tension on this with my hand because it is the pedal is falling down and it's taking up that slack as it goes. So uh, something you got to remember when you pull this cable back, you can hear that pedal clunk at the other end. So you'll see why there's 10 mil sockets here and 
I have to say, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to get rid of it because I think my push rod tube is a little bit short when I welded it back in. And I didn't really realize that then, but now I am realizing that. So with this nut off, pull my 10 mil out, and we'll go ahead and let it fall down. So if you pull this out, don't lose this little guy here. It's an important little deal. So we'll put it with the 10 mil right here. So if I pull on the clutch cable, you can feel or hear the clutch pedal going back up. Now you just grab a wrench or in my case, your hand, and you can take off the little wheel or the little uh, pivot here. Don't lose that either. And voila, your clutch cable is free. So I'm gonna save all my parts down here. We're gonna go look at unhooking it from inside the car. All right, I left this in so you guys can ooh and ah my new cocoa mats. I'm super excited about them and they are super high quality. I've been wanting those for quite a while and so I finally, finally got a set. So let me go ahead and pull those out so I don't make them a mess and uh, we'll take a look at the connection up here. All right, welcome inside the car. This is the throttle cable and this one, let me show you from the other side where my finger is, is the clutch cable. You just need to, uh, typically I just pop the pedal out, pop that off, pull this back, and then it is just a matter of popping this little security deal up, get the throttle cable out of the way. It does help if you pull the clutch cable back or up, just depending on how you want to do it. And really, it's just a matter of flip this up, pull that little pin out, and then you have some access to work on your clutch cable and pull it a little bit and take this clevis off. So I'm going to try and set the camera up so you guys can watch, and I'm going to struggle with that for a few minutes, and then uh, we'll feed the new one in. Okay, and we're out. So this is the pin you're trying to get out. It's in like this. You have to flip it up, push it out. I'd push it out from that side. Uncook this for sure. It's a good time to adjust the play in your uh, brake pedal if you want to do that. And then once you do that, you basically just pull it up. I got this jam nut and unscrew this little guy. I am going to put this right here on the floor. I'll undo this special nut as well. And we're gonna pull this thing out from the back. I have seen people say that they like put something in to help hold it or pull the new one through. I'm really not that worried about it. I'll blast some air through there. It's gonna slide through there just fine. So let's pull out that cable and compare it to the new one. All right, I'll take responsibility for that. You can see it's melted and kind of torn up in a couple places. This is torn up and really overall not too bad. Maybe worthwhile as a spare, but the new one is considerably better. These ends are in perfect shape. It's got the nice boot here. It's got a straight connection that's not roached. It's got a new sleeve to go all the way through. So this boot is on the uh, clutch end at the transmission. And I got the two 7mm nuts, one to lock it in, one to uh, hold the adjustment. So we're going to go ahead and give that some lubricant and start feeding it in. All right, so believe it or not, that is where my cable goes. So I am gonna give it a little bit of help here. I'm just gonna blast some white lithium grease in there to give it some assistance. And then we're gonna start feeding this thing in. Obviously you have to make sure that all of the pieces are off. You got your cable nice and straight and clean. Uh, but to be honest, there's no way this isn't an improvement over what was in the car. So uh, let's go ahead and start feeding this guy in. I've got it out kind of behind the car. I'm gonna go ahead and start and see if I can get it pushed all the way up. Um, so once we put it in, then we'll put that clevis back on the other side. This is generally a pretty stiff cable. I don't anticipate that this is gonna have any problems going all the way back to its home. And I'm correct, that looks perfect. So there's a little rubber bumper here. We'll go ahead and snake it through the uh, cross member. And I'll show you guys. The new one has this sweet rubber bumper right there. And we'll get it all the way through and up to the back. So I will put some more cleaning and just lubricate this a little bit. 
I don't know if that rubber bumper is supposed to be right where it goes through or if it's supposed to be the bumper right here. I don't really know. It seems like this would slide and then it would fit through this hole right here. I don't really like it below the cross member. Um, so we'll figure that out for a minute here and then we'll go up and hook it up in the front first and in the back second. All right, everything's hooked up in there. It's kind of like acrobatics. If you can get the car outside and be able to open the door all the way, that'll make a huge difference. So uh, it's hooked up there. It's a good time to like vacuum out, clean out, adjust the preload or the little push rod on your brakes, make sure that's all lubricated and make sure that when you put the clutch cable back in, you've not wrapped the accelerator cable around it when you pop that off. I did pop it off. I guess you don't have to, but I did find it easier because just a little ball and socket, you just pop it back, back together. So clutch actuates well, throttle actuates well and uh, brakes seem normal as they can be. So uh, we're gonna jump out of the car and hook it up from the back and then we will have a renewed clutch cable system. All right, so we gave this a quick clean up, a little bit of brake clean and uh, this should be good to go. Clean up my little wheel, give that a quick shot of grease. I use this white lifting grease for a lot of stuff. It may not be the right stuff, but it does work. So when you put this on, you need to make sure your cable is in it all the way around set that cable housing in here follow this through make sure that that is all the way on now remember like i said you're gonna have to pull this in order to get it uh get the clutch cable off the stop and up to hook it up to the pedal uh to hook it up to the throw out bearing and the fork um, but for now i'm just going to get this pivot on there because once the pivot's on there the cable can't really come out you can pull on it all you want and you can already see um, I'm probably still going to need my handy dandy 10 mil socket. So we'll go ahead and tighten this guy up. It's got a nice pivot so I can make this fairly tight here. I've actually never had a problem with this coming off. So we'll go ahead and give that a quick tighten and then it, whoops. Um, and then we'll move on to hooking up our cable here. So you can see it's already looking tremendously better. This cable seems to be a little long, I'll be honest. So I'm not sure what the best course of action here is with trying to make sure that it uh, is routed correctly. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to reroute if we needed to. So um, I'm gonna put my clevis in there and then uh, uh, we're gonna see how much extra we pull through. And then we'll determine if we need the 10 mil socket or not. And it looks like we might be able to get away without it. So um, I think we're gonna go ahead and grab that boot. There is a boot that goes here that I forgot. So let's go back a step and put that boot on and then we will go ahead and put those nuts on, that special seven mil nut, and then it'll be ready to rock. Right, fresh clutch cable, clean the pivot, and no more 10 millimeter spacer, and I gained a 10 millimeter socket. So all I need to do is just a little zip tie clean up up here, and uh, I have left a little more play than I normally do, just so the clutch isn't dragging. You can see that the pedal is all the way up. Hopefully you guys can see that there, and uh, uh, there's just a tiny, tiniest bit of play if I pull up on the pedal. Just a tiny bit. I could take that slack out, but for now I'm gonna do that. This is definitely something that's easy to adjust later on. So that's gonna be all for the Barefoot Garage tonight. We got our clutch cable buttoned up here, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the back end of the car back down on the ground, and we are gonna be in good shape, ready for Octaner Fest. So don't forget to stay tuned to the Barefoot Garage right here on YouTube, and you can follow us at Barefoot Garage Jacks over on Instagram. Get out there, work on those 914s. We hope to see a lot of you guys next month. See ya.